Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I bring you the Razer Invicta double surface mousepad. I got this from the Razer website. And uh, we can see the box is pretty big because except the mother pad I still have two items in the box. So let's open the box and take a look. On the top of the box is the mouse pad and underneath it we have two black bags one is a razor gun camouflage t-shirt it's uh i think it's in the discount code so you cannot get it now they are already out of order so if you want it you have to wait till next time they put it on the website. So the gun camo t-shirt is pretty cool. It has like M4, MP5, uh, G36, FAMAS kind of guns as a uh, camouflage on the t-shirt. Uh, the other black bag is for the razor hoodie, so it's a jacket, as you can see. It's pretty cool also, green color inside, kind of camouflage on the outside. Okay, let's just skip this part. Uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the mousepad. This is a pretty heavy box. So we can expect like still very nice packaging inside. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, inside the bag is another box. It's uh, identical with the box for the Razer Iron Cly. So you probably paid 10 bucks for that. And uh, inside the box, there is a letter from the Razer design team. I never seen that before. Pretty cool. Underneath the mousepad is, uh, of course, I really think I guess what it is the instruction and uh, two stickers. Since this is just a mousepad, so we don't have too many of books, menus. Okay, let's take out the box. Let's take a close look at the Invicta. So it has a pretty thick aluminum f frame. And uh, on the back side, it has a rubberized layer to prevent your mousepad slip on your desk. And uh, there's a hole to make it easier to take off the main part of the mousepad. And uh, as I said, this mousepad has two sides. It's basically one side is a uh, destructor and the other side is a uh, scarf and we can take a look at the aluminum frame it's very 
well manufactured very tough next we're going to go ahead to compare how slippery the mouse pad is the comparison method is pretty easy we put the mouse pad on a uh, angle in this case it is the keyboard and we put the mouse on the mouse pad to see how the mouse slide on the pad so now we have the razor Ouroboros which has pretty large area of mouse feet should be very slippery as we can see now this is a control side it's less slippery than the speed side then today we have all kinds of razor mouse pad we have the scarf which is the plastic hard surface we also uh, have the aluminum hard surface the iron client and we have the hybrid surface the megasoma and uh, the traditional soft surface the glasses underneath the keyboard but uh, you should keep in mind that except the Invicta which I got it today other mouse pad were used at least for six months so they are pretty heavy wear so therefore their uh, test performance won't be that good compared to a brand new mouse pad but we can still get an idea that even though for some mouse pad after heavy use and wear off it's still performing pretty well and uh, the last one is uh, glasses since this is a soft mat so it gives a uh, least f uh, slippery now we can we're going to compare the size of this MOSFET so as we can see the Invicta size is uh, pretty identical with the uh, scar and uh, it's similar with the uh, ironclad as well one thing I want to mention is uh, the Invictus man part is still kind of thin and soft so you have to use it with the frame all the time in case you damage it so this is the unboxing of the Razer Invicta hope you like the video if you have any question leave it in the comment and uh, thanks for watching have a nice thanksgiving bye bye